back here in the garage as usual. A uh, quick easy song today, uh, but we're actually going to be working on a technique thing, something I usually don't do. I'm usually, if hopefully you're a subscriber and you know, we just do videos, show you the song, let you go play. This one, uh, the toughest thing for me the first two years was muting strings. Uh, no matter how many lessons I watch, they'll tell you to karate chop or lift your fingers up. Just a, a tough concept to understand. So. I'm going to do my best to try to explain it and give you a close-up. That's why you'll probably notice if you see my other videos, we're a little closer than normal today. And uh, just give you an example. This is a perfect song where we're going to be using the muting. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of explain on a side angle here what's happening. First off, when I'm strumming the strings, the karate chop method is you're kind of strumming down and with the back of your hand here, after the pick kind of goes through, you're almost bring your hand down almost at the bridge part here you notice I'm right in the hole area and that's how I mute them right after I play them as far as that another technique is and you saw me do that here in the opening we'll slide her back a little bit for the song, we're going to be in standard tuning as normal E, A, D, G, B, E. And we're using the tip of our finger here on the fifth of the A to mute out the E. Playing the fifth of the A and the seventh of the D. And then this finger technique is it's kind of shaped almost like a C formation where I'm barely touching the rest of the strings here. And it's muting them out. Meaning the bottom three strings here. We just don't want to hear those, obviously. Along with the karate chop method, the other thing we're going to do is after we strike, we're just going to gently lift our fingers up. Just lift them up. And that'll also help mute out the strings even more and give a little, uh, not vibrato, but a little ambiance to it. All we're doing is going from the seventh of this D to the eighth. Another part in the song, you do a quick slide up after you come off from the eight. Slide up here to the three A, still muting that E, and the five, and just slide back down. So. transition for me but more practice for anyone and you'll get through it another part of the transition you can go when uh, there's a little bit longer of a pause uh, and all I did where there is slid up to the 1a 3d sliding down to the 3 5 back to my original Keep repeating. Fun song, not the easiest, uh, obviously because of the muting. When I'm doing the slides, I'm not doing the muting also, I might add. Uh, uh, lots of practice. You can just stand that. You don't necessarily have to leave this. If you're a beginner, sometimes it's easier to leave that up there and bring this here. I like to just take it away. You can Remember to keep your finger where it's barely touching those bottom three so you're muting out the bottom. So, like I said, a double lesson, kind of uh, learning the Eminem song there and uh, learning about the muting. The muting will come in handy for tons of other lessons, obviously, that I'll have up on this channel. So, hope you're having fun as usual. Uh, like I said, kind of a song and a lesson all in one. Uh, any other questions as usual, down in the comments below. Uh, any other groups or songs that you're looking forward to or want to kind of learn? down below again. I hope you've subscribed. We're going to get to tons more songs here in the next couple months. Thanks as usual.